it's pretty fair to say that for most websites that you go to, there are a lot of queries going on in the background. And the DNS is an essential and critical part of everything that you do. The other thing that I want to say, second thing I want to say about the DNS and, and malicious use is to say that the DNS is rarely a, an attack vector in and of itself. People don't attack the DNS per se. The DNS is an indirect attack vector. It's about using it to do things. I mean, there are certainly things that people do try to do to the, to the DNS, but it's really about trying to exploit other attack vectors, other opportunities, and then finding ways to use the DNS. Since everything uses the DNS, what I want is to get bad information out there. I want to somehow poison the information that's being used there or somehow get into your registrar account. If you own a domain name, I want to get into your account and I want to make changes to your DNS entries. I want to get to your DNS operator and I want to make changes to it. So the DNS is doing what the DNS is supposed to do, but in you know, computer science terms, we often talk about garbage in, garbage out. You know, DNS is going to do a perfectly good job of distributing perfectly bad data if that's what's there. So the DNS is more typically an indirect attack vector. It's not the attack vector in and of itself. And the last thing I want to comment on is DNS security. DNS has clearly moved into an area of being considered critical internet infrastructure. More and more, we recognize that without the DNS, nothing happens on the internet. And there have been plenty of examples in the popular press recently, uh, you know, of, of significant websites going back to Twitter you know, and, and, uh, and, and Facebook having its problems and, uh, and, and other things historically over the years. Uh, people make changes to the DNS and, and bad things happen. And DNS security and that new protocol is a, uh, an addition to the DNS, which does provide some mitigation for a particular class of attacks. And then it becomes an additional tool in the arsenal to deal in general with malicious use of the DNS. And what I'm hoping today is to hear some discussion about the role of DNSSEC and what it can and cannot do for DNS security, especially as it relates to DNS being critical internet infrastructure. <clears throat>